Hey folks, Pete here from Ashton's Cars and today I am showing you around this rather nice P38 Range Rover. Not just any P38 Range Rover though, because when we come under the bonnet, this is the 4.6 litre V8 engined P38 Range Rover. The most powerful of its type. So, um, naturally aspirated 4.6 V8, nice big lazy old power lump this is. Uh, real great fun to drive, lovely sound to it as well, which I love. And this one's been fitted with LPG by the previous owner, which obviously makes it much cheaper to run. LPG costs about half um, the price of petrol. So oh. it makes it quite a practical car. Let me just make sure we get that shut properly. And let's have a little stand back from the car and marvel at our rather nice looking Range Rover. Look at the condition of that. Absolutely beautiful. So, as you can see, this car is in very, very good condition. It's finished in black, very desirable colour. You don't tend to see that many of them in this colour. It's got original wheels on it. It's in pretty much unmolested original condition. The only mod on the car is that LPG system, and that obviously enhances the spec on this particular car. I'm just going to pan out a little bit to show you. Bodywork on this car is excellent. I'll go right round it and then I'll show you some of the highlights. The exhaust is almost new condition. I'll show you that in just a second. There's twin exhausts on these cars. Coming around the back. You can hopefully see twin electrics for the tow bar there. Amazing condition. No real areas of corrosion on the bodywork at all. Um, suspension's all working properly as well. It's the self-leveling system on this car. Uh, air suspension obviously it would have been a top of the range car when it was new and it all works i've had it on the motorway and it goes down on the motorway mode and uh, off-road mode works properly i've had the low range gearbox working on it as well it's an absolute beauty i mean it's unbelievable for a 22 year old car it's at 135,000 miles which is well below average for its age i'm not on 100 even ground here so you might see that it's not sitting um it's self-leveling so it's actually jacked its front up slightly because we're on a bit of a slope um, but that's how it's supposed to be on a self-leveling car like this let's just show you one of the things that you need to look out for on any Range Rover is corrosion and where you need to look out for it's on these rear arches and I'll just show you where so if you can see through there as well you can see that I've got a new exhaust system on the car that's not long being fitted and also if you look by here that's your actual LPG filler there for, uh, for the LPG system. That's really cheap, as I say, the uh, the LPG uh, at the pumps is about half the price of unleaded. A bit less than that, actually, at the moment. And there we have the classic place for Range Rovers to rest, is this arch by here. It's completely solid on it, this car. The last owner had it 15 years and he really looked after it. I'm assuming he garaged it because you don't often see these, these cars in this sort of condition. And look at that sumptuous leather clad interior it's absolutely fantastic uh it's easy to get carried away buying one of these cars by the spec and the value for money that you appear to be getting but obviously if these arches are rotten here what happens is that they've got a sort seal on the door seal here an outer seal which stops this getting dirty it stops you getting mud on yourself as you're getting in and out of the car which is great but it does sometimes harbor a bit of dirt which causes that to rust so it's something you need to be aware of if you're buying either one of these or even the later L322 Range Rovers, that area does tend to be the telltale area for rust. Just show you the other side, just to show you it's exactly the same. There you go, all original as well, not being messed around with or molested. Such a rare thing to find one in this condition. You know, it's absolutely fantastic that is. Tires, as you can see, are very good on the car as well. And can you see that exhaust? Yeah, nearly new. Nearly new to an exhaust system on the car. So very uh, nice to see that condition in the back of here. Well, you'd never think it was five years old, let alone 22 years old. It's in brilliant condition. I've even got the original Range Rover uh, magazine thing there that the owner had. It's left a few little bits in the car for us. It's got the nice big plush pull-out armrest. It's very, very plush in here. Uh, even by modern standards, but when it was new, you can imagine it was one of the most sought-after vehicles on the road. 
nice wood inlays on it as well as you can see uh, the condition on everything including the door cards is nothing short of immaculate which brings us to the front of the car so these have electric seats in them they have electric everything on them to be honest here it's uh, a beautiful interior trim this with a sort of brown uh, leather with this sort of beige magnolia sort of piping really quite an unusual color combination on this car uh, there's the uh, the main display of it you've got your air suspension switches and everything there you've got something called a tape player i don't know if anyone can remember those from back in the day we've got one in this car the main thing is if you're a range rover aficionado which may well be interested in this type of car uh, because they're starting to become collectible um, this car is completely original and completely unmolested so that's a very very big plus point because a lot of these now have, have fallen into the wrong hands and having been with its previous owner 15 years this one's been you know kept in absolutely mint condition being a bit critical some aftermarket tints been applied on these windows and there's a little bit of a um a bit of a sort of telltale sign there but it's not a lot and there's a tiny bit of um sort of wear i suppose you could say on on the rubbers there as they come through but again not not anything really horrific right so we're going to have a quick look at the, the tailgate obviously it's a another area that can sometimes cause concern on these cars uh, this one's absolutely immaculate there's no rust here it's all very good along the edges you press the button a second time that releases the tailboard and then behold a fantastic space which can be sat on can be worked on it's a really really useful area to be honest with you. this tailboard is on the, on the range rover something that i've used as a desk many a time when i'm doing my job um close that back up for you all the struts all the gas struts on this car are in very good condition as well another thing that you do tend to find on these is that sometimes they wear but not on this particular car it's it's again um really is a a credit to its previous owner this car is so what i'm going to do without further ado i'm going to start her up we'll uh, have a listen to her let me just uh, start it from here so there we are the sound of that throbbing v8 you will find that the abs lights and traction control will stay on um that's because the car uh, will not switch those systems off for the ABS light anyway until the car's doing over five miles an hour um, ABS doesn't kick in on a Range Rover so let's go in five miles an hour but let's have a listen, listen to that I'll give it a little rev hopefully you can hear it from here lovely sound there from the 4.6 V8 no smoke it's all as it should be absolute favorite uh, sounds one of these v8s is a lot of people do straight pipe them this one's got the original um, standard exhausts on it which are a bit more muted but nevertheless you still get that v8 rumble with the car and uh, of course you know in the interest of just keeping it all completely original i think it's a, it's an exceptional machine this one i'll just jump back in behind the wheel just to show you a couple of systems on it so what I will do quickly for you is just take it for a just reverse it very quickly down our yard and then take it forwards that will get rid of the ABS light just to show you how that goes off there we go so as soon as we go five miles an hour the lights off and if I put the the dash lights on there because it's getting a bit darker you can see that everything on here is working as it should I've got um, air suspension I can put it into off-road mode and we'll raise up I don't know if you can see that it's very difficult on camera to show we have now gone up and if i press the arrow again it'll go down and again hopefully you can just about see compared to the other cars that we are leveling off now quite low on the car got climate control on the car as well it's dual climate gearbox all uh, it's conventional automatic which uh, you can go across you put it in the neutral and then go across for the off-road mode uh, where you've got the low range gears obviously permanent four-wheel drive being a land rover 
going back up now because I've put it into off-road mode. Completely freaking the car out. There we go. Back into normal again. Right, so, um, yeah, 135,000 miles. A very, very lively V8 engine. I drove this car 120 miles yesterday. I loved every minute behind the wheel. I mean, there's nothing beats a P38 Range Rover with this engine. I mean, it's it's one of the classic combinations. And if you buy a well-sorted P38 like this, they are becoming a little bit more collectible now. They are starting to, you know, increase in value slowly as well. So possibly a future investment opportunity or just a very cool um, 4x4 um, tow vehicle for someone if you're if you're that way inclined if you want something you know a little bit retro but that's still modern enough to cope with uh, with the modern driving so yeah i'll just jump out of the car quickly and uh, i'll tell you how to get hold of us i mean these are very very capable vehicles i can't imagine anyone using this as an off-road vehicle it's a little bit too nice for that um but it is more than capable if you're after something for the winter that will get you out of trouble it's definitely going to do that um if you want to get in touch with me my name is pete my number is 07932 873 646 be quick because i do not think this is going to be around long every range rover of this type that we've had recently tends to sell very very quickly obviously give us a like give us a share we're happy to take your old car as part exchange and please subscribe to our channel for more viewing, more, more features like this, more cars, more car buying advice. If you're interested in the Range Rover though, just get in touch straight away on 07932 873 646. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope this has been of use to you uh, and of interest. Take care of yourselves wherever you are. Goodbye.